The Real Story Behind Peaky Blinder The Peaky Blinders were a notorious gang in Birmingham, England in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. They were known for their violence, extortion, and illegal activities. But what was the real story behind the Peaky Blinders? In this video, we'll explore the history of the Peaky Blinders and their impact on Birmingham. So watch the video until the end. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. The Peaky Blinders series is set in Birmingham, England and follows the gang led by Tommy Shelby. The series first aired in 2013 on BBC Two and ran for five seasons with a total of 32 episodes. Each season focuses on a different year between 1919 and 1924, which was an era characterized by widespread social unrest due to World War I, followed closely by the Irish War of Independence that would eventually lead to civil war in Ireland just as Britain was fighting against communism in Russia. The Peaky Blinders series tells the fictional story of a gang from Birmingham during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The show is based on the real-life Peaky Blinders, but it's important to note that what you see on TV is not always historically accurate. That said, the show does stay true to mainly historical details about life in Birmingham at the time, and it's often quite realistic, aside from some minor things like clothes or hairstyles. It also gets some things right. For example, some scenes depict how members of this game would take part in illegal activities such as gambling and prostitution. Some parts of Birmingham still resemble how it would have looked back in the 20s. The city of Birmingham is located in the West Midlands and is often referred to as Brum. This city, like no other, has a reputation for being gritty, hardworking, and tough. In fact, it was voted one of the top 10 most dangerous cities in England by the Daily Mail newspaper. The city has also been known for its gang culture throughout history, but thanks to successful regeneration efforts by local authorities and increased police presence, this problem has been reduced significantly over recent years. Tommy Shelby and his brothers, Arthur and John, first rose to power after returning from World War I. The Shelby family was already a long-established criminal organization in Birmingham, England, but the war had taken its toll on the family's fortunes. Their father was shot in 1924 in Boston after leaving a bar and their mother remarried an unfaithful drunkard who failed to provide for them. Upon returning home from fighting for their country, Tommy Shelby and his siblings found themselves poor and disgraced. They were forced to take up the family business of crime under a new name, Peaky Blinders. From there on out, these three men would become some of the most notorious criminals in history. They fought for the side of the law as well as breaking it over the course of six seasons. The Peaky Blinders were involved in criminal activity, but they also fought for the side of the law. The show's creator, Stephen Knight, wanted to create a show that was grounded in reality and not just a glorified version of gangsters. In fact, he modeled the gang after himself and his family members who were in trouble with the police. While most people may think of them as criminals due to their frequent run-ins with police officers throughout the six seasons of Peaky Blinders, they were actually involved in one thing, fighting for their rights as citizens. If you're a fan of Peaky Blinders, then you know that Alfie Solomons was a character based on a real man. The gangster was known for his brutality and his role as a member of the Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders writer Stephen Knight says, We have portrayed him as funny, but with an edgy character. However, there are some people who think that Alfie Solomons was actually based on another real person named James Jimmy Moody. He was also known by his nickname, Peaky Jack, and he didn't wear military caps or flat caps during this time period, only peak hats. Also, there was no woman called Grace Burgess who was attacked and killed by Peaky Blinders. This is a popular misconception that has been perpetuated by the media. The truth is that there was no such woman and the attack never happened. The Peaky Blinders were known for their brutality and ability to incite fear in those who opposed them. They also had a reputation for being a street gang involved in illegal activities such as gambling, blackmail, and fraud. The sight of the Peaky Blinder cap was enough to send chills down the spine of its victims. They earned their name from the practice of sewing razor blades into the peaks of their caps, which they wore at all times. For reference, these hats look like this. As you can see from the image, it's not a very flattering look for a person's face. However, 
it was advantageous for gang members to have sharp objects on the top of their skulls because they could then use those blades as weapons during fights with rival gangs or against police officers who tried to arrest them for crimes such as theft or assault and even murder. There was a real Billy Kimber, an infamous horse racing gangster from Birmingham who is credited with starting an underworld war between his gang and the Blinders. He appears, renamed Billy Kimber, in Series 1 of Peaky Blinders, played by an actor called Charlie Creed Miles. Despite the many factual inaccuracies spread across the internet about this character and his family, or perhaps because of them, many fans have embraced him as a real person and become fascinated by the story behind him. This has even led to some incredible research into his life. The word blinder means a young man dressed to impress. It comes from the world of horse racing, where it is used in reference to the betting industry. Blinders are also used as a term for a type of hat with large eye holes and no brim, one that's often worn by Peaky Blinders characters. The gang was formed by the three brothers after their father died in 1924. They began their reign of crime by stealing from horse-drawn carts using sharpened spurs on their boots to puncture the horse's hooves then stealing whatever they could before it fell to the ground or ran off with its load of goods or produce. Although many members of the gang were arrested repeatedly by police but always managed to evade conviction due to lack of evidence, since witnesses who would have testified against them refused to talk. One time, Tommy was sentenced to 20 years of hard labor for attempted murder after shooting someone during an altercation at a barber shop where he worked part-time cutting hair while also managing an illegal betting operation out back. He was later released after only serving four years. The gang was also known for its violence and its fashionable attire. The group members were trained to hide weapons under their clothes, making it difficult for the police to identify them. This practice is thought to have influenced the modern-day use of peacoats in fashion. The Peaky Blinders were initially involved in street brawls and fighting with other gangs, but eventually moved on to more serious crimes including gambling, blackmail, fraud, and intimidation. They were eventually stopped by the police. Their leader, John Shelby, Cillian Murphy, went on overseas missions before returning home to take over his grandfather's business and lead the gang into a new era. The show is not entirely historically accurate, with aspects being dramatized for entertainment purposes. The Peaky Blinders gang did exist in Birmingham in the early 20th century and was led by a man named Thomas Shelby, played by Cillian Murphy on the show. However, it was much smaller than what you see on screen. Most of its members were of working-class origin. In reality, there wasn't a rivalry between the Peaky Blinders and the Aldridge family at all. The real-life Alfie Solomons was actually friends with Shelby until he betrayed him. And while we're sure that Tommy was as charmingly handsome as his counterpart in the series as well, he also had an eye for younger women. His second wife, Violet Cray, who's also fictional, was just 17 when they married. The most interesting historical fact about Peaky Blinders is how it came about. Creator Stephen Knight based his characters on people who resided near where he grew up in small health suburbia during World War II, and their stories inspired him enough to write about them more than 20 years later when he moved back to England, after spending years abroad working as an actor and a writer elsewhere. The police were eventually able to stop their activities by sending them on overseas missions which distracted them from their criminal activities in Birmingham. The first of these assignments was in Europe, where the Peaky Blinders attempted to assist the Polish and French resistance forces against Germany. Later, they fought alongside British troops during World War I in Egypt and Iraq. In both cases, it's likely that their presence contributed to their success, but it also made them targets for enemy fire. So while the work was dangerous and often not successful, the French resistance did not survive long after France surrendered. It kept law enforcement busy enough so that they couldn't make progress with other crimes like gambling or prostitution rings back home. Despite their efforts, the Peaky Blinders were ultimately phased out by increasing crime rates. The police couldn't keep up anymore. The gang had become so powerful that other gangs wanted to do business with them, but they were not interested in dealing with those other gangs. They wanted to stick to themselves. It was a vicious cycle. When one gang took over another area, it would attract more attention from the police and from other gangs trying to take over their territory. 
Eventually, this led to even worse crime rates in Birmingham as time went on. The story is partially based on actual history and provides an entertaining dramatization of historical events. However, it should be noted that the show is not entirely historically accurate and should not be taken as entirely factual. It will still give you valuable information about this fascinating period in British history, but any claims of accuracy need to be taken with a grain of salt. So there you have it, the true story behind Peaky Blinders. While the show may be fiction, it is based on a real criminal gang that terrorized the streets of Birmingham in the early 1900s. The real Peaky Blinders were a force to be reckoned with, and they left a lasting impact on the city of Birmingham. If you're a fan of the show, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not a fan of the show, we hope you at least appreciate the history behind it. Either way, we hope you have a better understanding of the real story behind Peaky Blinders. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know below, and be sure to like and subscribe for more great content like this.